Anyway, her eGFR was 61. Now, it was 91 when she was first doing the bloods, when she was actually vegetarian and eating lots of rice and lots of stuff. And it was 91 then because how they do the eGFR, the little e is estimated. I think this might make your blood boil when it gets to the whole story. But anyway, uh, and it, it, it's not a direct measurement of function. OK, so if you don't have much creatinine, which is a waste product of creatine when you're eating a lot of protein, the calculation assumes, therefore, oh, the, the, the function of the kidney must be amazing. You know, and so they do this calculation and it was judged to, to be 91 and uh, you want it to be over 60, really. Uh, 90 is very good. 120 is fantastic. And, and there's a lot of people less than 60, by the way. And a lot of people I've seen less than 60 have gone kind of on, got it up to, to above 60. So firstly, her one was 61, which in the NHS in the UK is chronic kidney disease stage two. Anyway, so here's what's wrong with that reading. The first one, uh, I said to her, isn't a measurement of of actual function of your kidney it is estimated based on your creatinine and if you go on any website any nursing website that talks about phlebotomy or interpreting your bloods if anyone watches those they will see that the nurses always say if someone has a, a lower EGFR one of the questions you should ask is do you eat more protein than the average person so that's what nurses say they're teaching other people about phlebotomy well that isn't the doctors in the labs and you know, uh, seeing these people face to face but it's the people at the front line this is also true of blood urea nitrogen what's called bun because urea also the nitrogen as the name implies is a breakdown product of protein so that can go up sometimes but when you're on carnival it's not a problem if all the other markers are in place okay so so i told her that and i said just so you know since 2021 um the only good side of the woke movement is egfr as been deemed racist as well because African Americans are deemed to have a, a more muscular structure compared to say Caucasians, and therefore when they do the EGFR, same blood, if it was that vial that you gave and you tick the box that you're African American, they would multiply it by a factor of 1.6, and you'd be you'd be up in the 90s. Uh, so since 2021, it's the only good thing that's come out of wokeness for me. Uh, there's been a campaign to get rid of EGFR. I've always wanted to get rid of it because it's a terrible measure when you eat a lot of protein and you cystatin C. Strangely enough, that's what that campaign wants as well, because cystatin C is a much more reliable marker of kidney function.